Hello there aunties and happy Tuesday! So I'm here with this cutie pie with baby Lucas. Sorry gosh, I, I feel like I've been only making videos with him lately but you know how it's when you get a new baby, you get all excited and look how cute he looks on this um, sleeper. I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram last night and look at that, it matches his passy perfectly. See, he has a bird there too. It's super cute, um, but you know, we need to get him ready for the day. Uh, and I also wanted to make that new tag by um, Kelly Girl, I think is her name, about, you know, family and reborns and, and all that, like, you know, uh, even though I think I talk about it uh, on the... Um, Confessions of a Reborn Mommy tag, I think. I um, I kind of talk about it, but I don't know. I can try to talk about it again, I guess, and <laughs> maybe quicker while I change him. And yeah, let's see. Well, I I was watching a couple of videos, and for what I can see most ladies, I mean at least, well, you know, the couple of videos that I watch, you know, their families were kind of like supportive of it, I mean, or, you know, for the most part. Now, in my case, guys, and like I explained in that video, um, I hope you can see him okay. <laughs> uh, my family doesn't know about my hobby, and like I said, they are coming to visit, uh, next month kind of like towards the middle of um actually like april 22nd or so i think that's the day they arrive and so like i said uh and i'm not ready to tell them you know someday i'm gonna have to tell them i think because you know i mean it's not cool to have to hide things from people um you know but i feel it's not the right time yet because, you know, like I said, um, first of all, I have to tell them about my miscarriages, which I haven't told them either. Because, you know, how parents are, they tend to worry too much. So I haven't told them about that. So, and I don't know, I mean, even, you know, when they come here now, I'm going to tell them about it. But if I tell them about the miscarriages and then not too long after I tell them about my hobby, honestly, guys, uh, knowing them, you know, they're my parents, so I know them, like, you know, I know <laughs> I have a very good idea of how they could react to my hobby. And basically, considering my age and the fact that, you know, like I said, I had two miscarriages last year. Oh, this is a little bit too long on him. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh my, um, but he's gonna look cute anyways. Yeah, considering that I had the two miscarriages and my age and all that, if I tell them about this hobby, they're gonna think I've lost my mind. They're gonna think that, I don't know, I think even if I tell them that I know they're not real, you know, and it's, this is just like role play mostly. I mean, yeah, when I hold them off camera, it brings me comfort, but I mean, it's not that I, you know, I treat them like real babies off camera or anything like that. Um, like, I know they're not real. I know they're not going to replace the babies I lost. But, um, but you know, but they, like I said, you know, they help me cope. They bring me comfort and they let me enjoy the, the you know, the mummy, the fun mummy things without um, being a mom. Oh, look how cute he's loving. <laughs> he looks so adorable. This is too long, guys, for him. This is too long. This is size three months, and I think it's too long for him. I mean, it fits him nicely because his body is chunky, but it's too long. Um, so, yeah, I might have to change him into something else later. But I wanted to, you know, um, still make a video and fix his hair a little bit and all that and do this tag so yeah he looks so cute oh my goodness 
<laughs> He's so handsome. Oh, I love this little man. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so cute. Sorry guys, my camera shut down. So um, yeah, I'm getting ready here to give his bottle. So yeah guys, my family doesn't know about it, like I said, and you know, eventually I will <laughs> come out of the closet. <laughs> um, yeah, let's say I am a um, closet reborn mommy, because my family doesn't know about it, my friends don't know about it, my friends, oh my gosh. Uh, they would probably think I've lost a marble or two. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know, like, they could understand it more if I was a teenager and, you know, when you have these teenagers that they want to have, they think they want to have a baby because, I mean, they don't know how much of a responsibility that is, but, and, you know, so they want a baby so bad and, you know, they're not ready yet, so they get reborns. If that was the case, that would be one thing. But considering my age and, you know, when they find out about the losses and stuff. Um, and apart from that, I know they're going to say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're spending all that money on some dolls. Like, um, you know, they, they, they tend to be very judgmental. Unfortunately, you know, I love them because they're my parents, but, um, you know, that's, that's how it has always been. And I don't know. I'm not going to change them now, you know, um, my dad, my dad is going to be, I think he's going to turn 80 at the end of the year and my mom, she must be like 76, something like that, because she's four years younger than him. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to change them and I don't know, you know, but it, it would be, I would feel better, I think, coming clean at some point when I feel, you know, it's more like the right time. Um, you know, I... I love my hobby. I love these babies. I am not gonna, I would never stop collecting because my family doesn't approve of it or my friends don't approve of it. Uh, I don't care. Like, you know, it's my hobby. Um, it's something I do to feel better. Only I know how I feel exactly inside. Only I know how hard it has been, you know, to suffer the miscarriages and to not be able to get pregnant first and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I don't know. My thing is, you know, do whatever makes you happy. Uh, I, I don't think I'm hurting anybody. I don't think I'm hurting, even if they find out, I don't think they're gonna, they have a reason to be hurt. You know what I mean? Uh, they might not accept it and that's okay. I cannot expect everybody to accept my hobby. Um, but that's the way it is. You know, I, I come to a point on life, on life that if something makes me happy, and I am not doing any harm, then I'm gonna keep doing it, you know? Um, oh gosh, and I forgot to get a beep. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm a bad mama. I'm a bad mama. I want to believe that if, this, uh, if I had a real baby, I would remember always to get the beep. <laughs> I think I would, because if it was a real baby, and I was feeding him without a beep, he would spill, you know, the food all over, and that would mean that I would have to change him and wash his clothes and all that, so I, I'm sure I would remember. But, you know, since these ones don't spit, don't, don't puke and all that, I, <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting, guys. I'm bad. I am bad. But, yeah, I am so happy with this little man. I am so happy, guys. You have no idea. Last night, I cuddled with him again. I had him... Sometimes, I don't even cuddle, but, I mean, I like having him, like, sitting next to me. You know, I have, like, a pillow. And I like having him there, like, just looking at me with that sweet face. Um, he's so, so sweet. I feel such a connection with this baby, guys. Um, I might make a, another video about that um i don't know it's just something i feel i mean there are times when it feels like he has a soul i mean i know that's stupid and that's not true but i don't know i have such a strong bond with him and that sweet face that he has and that sweet kind of like smiley face with those dimples and stuff um i don't know it's almost like he's talking to me <laughs> It's almost like, um, I don't know, you know, my, my Amber baby is like somehow, 
I don't know how to explain guys it's really really hard to explain but have you ever had like a reborn that you feel um, not only you have that strong bond but you almost feel like if they had a soul like a spirit or something you know uh, and they bring you so much comfort and I don't know it's hard to explain but maybe some of you might understand what I'm saying so um, yeah let's see this little man let me show you guys let me grab the camera yeah this looks too long on him because you know you should be able to see his legs that's okay now we can put it for pictures it's fine you know it would be it wouldn't be good like to take him on an outing but hold on a sec guys let me grab my camera mm, hi aunties oh look at him he's so adorable oh my god guys <laughs> I love this outfit on him, I really do. It's like a romper and he has like iguanas all over. <clears throat> Super cute. And he has, you know, um, dark blue socks, which match because some of these iguanas are blue. But see, it's like too long. If I don't put it up, see that? <laughs> he looks funny on it. You know, this is supposed to be shorter on him. But um, I don't know, like I said, he's kind of chunky, so he's, he's overstuffed a little. So if I put like newborn, I feel that's too tight on him. Um, even though, for example, the, the slipper he was wearing before I, you know, I started changing him is a newborn size from Koala Baby. But um, I wanted to put like a um, fleece slipper last night because it, it was very cold. Gosh, it was like, in, like 43 this morning, 43 here in Florida. It's crazy now in March. Um, yeah, I mean, those spring days we had are kind of over those nice days, and now we're back in the cold for, for a while, I guess. Um, but, anyways, yeah, I wanted to put a newborn like sleeper, like flea sleeper by cutters, and boy, I couldn't almost put it on him. I mean, it was so tight on him, so, so, so tight. Because, like I said, you know, he's big here, he's like chunky, he has like a big chest. Um, so yeah, so, but that's okay, that's okay, he looks adorable, so thank you so much ladies, thank you so much for watching, I love his lovey, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day, and we'll be back tomorrow, okay, with another video, um, and another tag probably, I have uh, some more tags that I want to uh, film, so yep, so stay tuned for that, um, probably a Wednesday, Wednesday and a tag, that's what I'll do. Alright, so thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next one, next time. Bye! Bye aunties!